Hi everybody, welcome to uh, SimpleLim Software's demos. Um, first of all, we open up uh, SimpleLim Software and you will see the login page uh, looks like this. And when we type in the username and password, so we can get into the system. Uh, we have a default setup on there, so the first time user you can start to set it up. Okay, once we set it up, uh, when, once we get into the uh, software, and then uh, you will see the system administrations form in front of you. Before you start everything, and uh, you have to set up uh, your lab administrative information, such as your company information and your employee management inform uh, information, and put on employees' names and uh, phone numbers and everything. Okay, uh, so uh, when we set up that, and uh, we get into the uh, login setup, different kind of employee, uh, different employee have the different access level to the simple in software. If you are administrators or your managers, you can get into everything. But if you're just a regular employees, uh, you will get a very basic access for the software. You can always change it from here. Okay, so let's do a basic setup for a workflow. The workflow presents your lab testing uh, process procedures. So you go to the workflow manager side and click on the first bottom, the top, and then you get into the current workflow list forms and then you click the workflow or you can see a generate new one. So you get, get into the workflow generation forms. Um, here is that uh, you can type in the workflow names and versions and tag and create a date and who create it, and who approve it, and what data you're going to approve it. And they can go through the process for the approvals and uh, all those things. And then after, after that, uh, you can set up all the activities, uh, steps for this kind of workflow. Like we says that the workflow name is workflow one, and you can go through step one, two, three, and just input file, what is the output file format, and what kind of um, instruments get involved with the workflows, and you can put it right here, and what kinds of lab materials you're gonna use for these workflows, and uh, the workflow chart. If you have a Microsoft Visual, uh, you can very easily create this chart and input it. And then, uh, what, of course, the instruments list. And also you can convert the workflow to the PDF file or convert it to the Excel file for your document keeping. You don't have to input the project using of this workflow and document management at this time. Things when you start your project, they will automatically fill out these forms and documents. Okay, so save your workflows and uh, close that form. Now you can take start to take a customer order. First of all, customer information. Input your customer information because uh, you have to remember all those customers. So what their name is, contacts, insurance, history records, and uh, things. And after that, you can start to create a customer's order. Before you create an order, every time you create an order, they are going to show you the uh, gonna reminder uh, that says that to order due today. Because you don't have any orders here, so that's empty. So you can close the forms and get into the order name, or you can put in a new order. This order name is ABC Hospital Order. And uh, order owners, uh, general information for what project uh, will involve with it, and who's going to be a project owner. And uh, uh, you can input uh, customer samples information over there. Uh, you can uh, receive a couple of customer samples from the order and put order names there and customer names here. And uh, here is that uh, the uh, inventory places. Let's put in shelf one. You can define shelf one and shelf two. And that is the uh, sample instance batch. You can put one sample into different kinds of batch and process different kind of uh, testing. And also, you can check the uh, sample workflow tasking uh, procedure process and uh, with these kind of things. And it shows up every step so it goes through. And the last one is the, the inventory place tracking. So if in the shelf one, 
And shelf one has um, lots of plates. You can put it on. It's a plate one. Or you can see that you put it on plate two, plate three, plate four, and position one, position two. Of course, you can do whatever you define because you got all the source code out here. You can always modify it. And if it's a new sample, if it's a test sample, those are testing status. And after that, save your sample information and get out of here. And you can keep working on um, project. Okay, this project will involve a workflow test, workflow one, and the testing. Workflow one testing result will show up at here. So you're going to see that which, which uh, these samples are batch ID, batch ones, and starting days, ending day, finishes, and uh, runs through the steps and says complete. And here we show the workflow charts and progress charts and see it's 100% um, finished edge. And that's the project documents where you put it on. And, late, and they will show the result right here. Uh, says that what is the real result or what accurate result and the conclusion is because you're in a certain range So it's good. All right, so after that um, you can Basically you can go to the customers site and Just show them what is the testing result or you can email them the testing result by using email and they were going to create a PDF forms and uh, the customer will see that forms uh, to show what's the testing result right here. Okay, uh, so and you also can uh, create a customer invoice uh, here and also email to a customer. Um, okay, and uh, for this is for whole process of test. And uh, also you can put your result in your document reporting uh, file systems and shows that where's the result and you can convert it to words format or add it to Excel, form, Excel format or PDF format. Uh, here is the uh, resource manager site. That part, uh, particular part is managing uh, your lab materials and instruments. Uh, you can start your lab material list. Uh, double click on that. You can get into the lab in material inventory forms, and I will show you what the um, the, the material names and uh, uh, category, and also some photo uh, for that material, and also the material information, inventory information. When did you purchasing? How many in total? And when did you use it? Every time you used it. They will automatically deduct based on your uh, workflow BMI or uh, BOM information. And this is a very important site and it says that it shows that uh, what is this material expires days. So it will alert you and when they expire and uh, you're going to dispose them. And uh, second thing uh, is the instruments management. You can always Double click the instrument name, uh, in equipment names, get into the instruments uh, information forms. They will show you um, what is the serial numbers, where they're located, um, there were names and uh, manufacturer's name, and you can even visit their vendors. And there's a photo right here, and who access that in uh, equipment, that, uh, and what is the maintenance records. Uh, here is the maintenance uh, reminder. If uh, it says you can set up a date, and uh, they will show up once the date comes out. And here is the access records, and here's the input out output documents. So here's the instruments management, and also there's a, a material purchase order. So when you purchase the material, so you can go through the purchase orders and directly send a PO to the uh, material supplier and uh, here is the supplier's name here and we're also going to help you to manage the uh, material suppliers uh, information on the vendors forms so they're going to show your PO record when did you purchase what kind of material from these vendors and also uh, that uh, instruments vendors also all right uh, so that's uh, pretty much uh, what we have it here on um, different type of management system and here is a 
uh, it just like a dashboard on the front and shows you what is the order schedule, like a uh, order due today, a batch due today, unpaid orders, instruments uh, maintenance reminder, and here is the material expire alert, and that's the current activity task. And here is the current working order because we don't have any work orders right here. So yeah, that's pretty much. Okay, that's what we have it here. And again, this is the Microsoft Access based software. It's open source software. So you can basically from you can basically modify it or update it based on your system needs. And thank you very much for watching it.